This is another comparison video, however, this is on the cylinder heads. Now this one, I got in a package deal with the rod. Um, and this is actually, they're both parts are off a junior dragster. And um, actually it only had about eight eighth mile passes on it, so I mean, barely used. Anyways, um, in com this, some of the big notices, noticeable details is that See where the gasket goes? It's completely machined flat. As we're supposed to over here, it's been raised up just by a little bit. That's just for, I'm not sure if it, Virgin Strat did that, did that for clearance or if it was compression ratio issues or detonation, whatever. Anyways, but this one, the Horseman, this one will have much greater compression as well as the valve. I'm a, oops. The valve pockets, or um, uh, little reliefs, whatever you want to call them, they are considerably bigger than the stock ones. Now, these valves, I think they're good for inch and a half valves. Anyways, but something like that. Um, however, the, my stock ones, they're not as big, but it doesn't matter. The more room, there's always room for change and expansion in the near future if I want to go for bigger valves. Anyways, um, another big difference is where the spark plug hole is located. If you note, here on the stock one, it's, in, it's moved over here to the valves. So I, I'm, I'm going to bet that when the spark plug or spark plug ignites the fuel and air mixture, you won't get as much power over the piston, but more power over here to the valves, which honestly the valves aren't doing anything. They're just letting in, they're just letting in and out the gas, gases. And so over here on the Horseman, you will note that the spark plug is relocated towards the center. And what this is, I'm going to guess, is largely due to, is because that power has to, one power has to, be, has to be relocated, so the power goes down to the piston, and not the valves. Also, if you note that, there's a little fire slot right there. Now what I'm betting that's for, and I can guarantee it's right, is that because you're going to have most of your heat over here by the spark plug, that could score this side of the piston, and so what that's probably there for is probably just to increase flow so you can get some of those expanding gases over there. Now also, another neat other thing about this is that it's got a slanted spark plug so that it's being aimed. Not only is it centered, but it's being aimed, and with the E3 spark plug that'll be running, it's got the little hole in there, so that's be, that'll be aiming it over at the piston, so it double whammy. Yes, I realize that some of the fins are broken, but you know what? It's a heat sink, basically. Excuse me, it's not really going <laughs> to affect it much. Besides, I guess the guy was being nice about it, and I, I, I don't really care. It, it's a horseman. Actually, this thing is considerably heavier than the stock cast iron one. I mean, this one might be probably like a pound or so. This one is probably getting on three. That sucker's heavy. And yeah, so that's just a uh, comparison to the heads. Actually, also if you note, the fins are much larger, as well as there seems to be more of them. And yeah, so that's my little uh, comparison of the heads. Thank you. Bye-bye.